We are recording the second half. Oh gosh, back to Edenfilm.com. You can watch the film, you can see this. And um, I would very much appreciate it if you uh, would help me provide the guidelines for the Liberty Village concept. We've got people with acreage in different parts of the country that would like to do this. And my, my concern is every Liberty Village should be self-sufficient. It should be able to provide its own power. It should be able to provide its own food and be able to uh, feed passerbys to teach them and teach them how it can be done. And I agree with you. That's exactly what I do here. People, people come here all the time. They, they take bags and boxes and stuff out here because I have such an abundance. And they see what I'm doing and it's, it's such a, a demonstration how easy and simple it can be done by anyone. You know, my only pool in the garden is a rake. I need no equipment. It's just so simple. No, we don't have to. T we don't have to till the backyard now. You don't want to till because when you till, you destroy all the all the living forms on the ground. It's so. We do. In the soil, you've got worms, bacteria, funguses, viruses all kinds of micronutrients in their, in a community where they have their babies. And when you kill, you totally disturb this stuff and destroy that whole environment. It's like sending a hurricane or an earthquake into our environment. And we don't get it. The design is so incredible and all, all it requires is a covering to maintain it. And it completely supports all of plant life in the ultimate way. What is, you got uh, in, in your backyard, you got uh, Bermuda grass growing, you know, so the kids can fall down and play on it and uh, without hurting themselves too bad. If you wanted to turn uh, that, your home in the suburb of Los Angeles or Dallas or, uh, or, or Indianapolis, could you do what you've done there on the, on, on the block? <laughs> yes, I, I, I grew up in L.A. when my, when my parents did it, so I'm used to the city, so I know. And it can be done anywhere, as long as, uh, I just say, if you live in a place where things are growing on their own, then you can do it. If you're in a desert, you can't, but if, if things are growing there, then it's saying, this is an environment, things grow. So just go back to nature where no one's messed with it, watch how it's being done, and copy it. It's that simple. Your film. Tell me, tell me about your film. Now, it's I, I, I found it absolutely fascinating, and it's linked in my site. Now, you know, again, part of the part of the thing, my site's blocked in a lot of places. They don't want you to hear me. You know, they don't want you to know about what's going on, and they don't want you to be self-sufficient. You, you can survive if if the whole world tomorrow ended tomorrow, if the meteor struck in New York, you'd get by, wouldn't you? Yeah. And again, all of history demonstrates that people have lived this way and survived well. And, and this is, you know, the people who want to control don't like that because you don't need them. And, <laughs> and as long as you need something, you can stay under their control. This is, this is not rocket science. It's very obvious to intent. Can we, you know, I, I, I keep the, this, the, the, the words of this old song, you know, how you going to get them back on the farm after they've seen that one? To me, I, I, when I created Liberty Villages, being back on the farm, that's where I wanted to retire. You know, that's, I, I mean, I could see myself as a grandfather sitting on a, in a rocking chair on the porch of a farm watching the, uh, watching the, crops grow, reading to, uh, you know, some grandchild, you know, to me, that's, that's our retirement, not some friggin' nursing home with a bunch of pills and being, staying drugged up and watching TV for 15 uh, hours a day. And you're totally right, you look at cultures that aren't, that haven't become um, industrialized, they live in excess of 100 years, they work until the day they die, and they're in good health. And the Bible says, as your days, so shall your strength be. To be old and decrepit is not normal. It's not normal. I'm 65. I can still kiss a kick a 24-year-old's ass, you know. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> and, 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 and you should be. And, 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 you, and because you have the experience, you can do it a lot quicker. Because you have the... <laughs> yeah, you don't have the strength, you have the knowledge and, and, and the experience. That's, that's what I told my sons. I said, man, you might be uh, younger, stronger, faster than me, but I don't fight fair. You know, come on. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I, I thought you were serious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I really, uh, I really welcome you on my show. I'd like to have you back because it's this kind of paper. We do have a choice, don't we? We have a choice on how we can live. Now, you don't have to live on a farm if you if you put your kids, you know, send your kids over to learn a business, learn how to farm, learn how to produce solar panels, learn how to grow your own food, learn how to be self-sufficient. I got a college. We got a college that uh, Dr. Jake Wade started uh, Little Red Schoolhouse and Timothy Bible College and in every the tiny Texas house and every teepee and every yurt anywhere across the country on a self-sufficient family farm. Your children will be hooked right into the grade school. You're, uh, you're, you, you can uh, get your Bachelor of Arts degree. You can get your Master's degree while you're growing your crops, while you're tending your, your land, while you're while you're working with a rake, and I like working with a rake, uh, I like the idea of working with a rake out in the garden uh, a lot more than, um, you know, pushing that uh, rented rototiller around. You know, I kind of like yeah. the idea, I kind of like the idea of goats mowing my lawn as opposed to the illegal on the riding mowers. Yeah, I agree. And you know what's so interesting? These farmers came here this this winter, this fall, winter, and they, their first comment was, "How come you don't have mud here? Our farms are all mud." And I said, "You look everywhere in nature. There's no mud. It's all happened when you put the cover off, and it's unnatural. It was never designed to be that way." You know, this is um, you 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 mentioned the Creator. I said it's uh, to me. And, and the church that I represent, the Bible college that I represent, we're not much into religiosity. I hate religion. I agree. You're right. <laughs> God is a, God is a, 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 about relationship. It's a connection. It's a relationship. It's got nothing to do with religion. It is a relationship. And if you're in the garden, he's talking to you every day. And everything I, I share in that film I got from him, not from any book, not from a man, I got from him directly because he's that kind of a God. He just wants to connect. Well, now, my theory here, again, you may not agree with this, perfectly okay, perfectly okay. This is the 21st century. I think burning bushes are passe. I think God is alive and well on the Internet. He, uh, he, he, he brought Lynn here, introduced Lynn to me, brought us together. He brought you to me here. And, and what you've done and shared on the Internet it'll be shared and, and it will go on is a way of life God is Jesus tried to tell us God's within you you can do what I do and more and you've proven that you're proving that you're, you're, you're saying what he what he said is true I, I, I learned what I learned from looking at the sky I said anytime I walk out of that door there I'm in church that's right you got it you are so right I learn way more out in my garden than I ever do by the church. Because that's where God shows up. That's where he's revealing and showing who he is. Uh, when those six people were killed at the uh, lightning strike in the church in Dallas, I, I, I quit going. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm crazy anyway. I ride a Harley, you know. That's my main transportation. That's a and listen, I, and I so agree with you. That, you know, God uses everything. And I think the internet is so amazing. You know, Jesus says the gospel will be preached to all the whole earth, and I'm going to come back. The internet's doing it. It's happening. I think the internet is awesome. This is such a wonderful way to get information out. So, thank you, God, for the internet. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, we we use that term a lot around here. Thank you, God. You know, yes, it's, it's a. Uh, I, I really appreciate what you're doing. What kind of what what type of uh, land do do we need? Let's say we want to do a Liberty Village. Let's, let's say we want to be able to support twenty people. You know, I don't care for crowds. You know, I I, I used to kind of enjoy going to Sturgis, but uh, I kind of quit doing that because it, uh, it was felt like being in New York City with a bunch of guys dressed like me. What so what size would you say? What size acre? What what kind of acre should uh, somebody 
they want to support 20 people. They want to support, uh, 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 they want to make enough to be able to provide for their neighbors and passerby. What, what would be the proper type of acreage or the proper type of setting for something like that? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a relative thing and it's totally creative. This is what's so, so amazing to me is that my experience is that I'm, 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 only, I'm only using probably an acre for all my orchards and gardens and everything. And my, my challenge is I'm producing so much I can't contain it. I have to take, you saw my film, I'm taking wheelbarrow loads of spinach, you never see that good in the store, dumping through my chicken. So it's just, it's amazing how things produce. And again, it's like compounding interest. Every year it's producing more and more. And I'm doing nothing because this is how nature operates. And again, it's the nature of God. He's so giving, he's so generous. And he's demonstrating his character by how things operate in nature. Let me ask you about the whole uh, uh, power system. Now, you know, I, I, I know this country was settled by farmers, ranchers using windmills. We've got wind generators available to us today. We've got solar panels we can make for probably uh, under 200 bucks. And uh, what about that? I mean, God gave us the wind, the sun. I, I said Obama's idea of greening America is to sell the top of that mountain to a Chinese firm so they can bring wind generators in, kill a few eagles, sell the power back down the mountain to you. My idea of greening America is putting a solar and a wind generator on every house and making every house a profit center for the owner. How do you deal well, with the power systems in, in, in your area? Have you, have you, are you using any solar? Are you go trying to um, my, my neighbor has a nice uh, wind generator. He's got solar panels all on his roof and he's putting it all back in the grid and he actually is, is making money. He's, he's putting more back in than he uses. That's a... Uh, that's the whole idea. They, if they actually did that in New Orleans, they did that in New Orleans, and uh, uh, I think there was Tom Cruise that went in and uh, they put some solar panels on the houses, rebuilt, uh, rebuilt the neighborhood a bit, and their houses were making them money sitting there. Yeah. Well, I love it. In the wintertime, we get these just southeasterly winds that's ripped through here, and that, that generator is just ripping all night long, and he's in the house sleeping all night long. He's just, you know, he's, 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 he's getting ahead of the game, you know, it's great. It's, uh, you know, and again, again the, whole, the whole thing about how we live, you know, God, God designed the lighting for a reason. We, we, our bodies heal better between the hours between before midnight and do afterwards, and there's a reason why we should go, you know, the old adage, when a man goes to bed um, earlier to bed, earlier to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. And we shouldn't be up a little, a little late at night. We should get up early in the morning and utilize the natural lighting. You know, to be, you know, to have unnatural lighting is not good for us anyway. So we should really get connected back to the nature and use less power. We don't even need as much as we're using. So it's, it's, the whole thing is kind of out of whack. That's true. I, uh, I've really gotten into this. Uh uh, the, this early to rise thing. I've been doing a morning show for 20 some odd years, so I get up early and I go to bed early. So it's up. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Now, now the videos you can get them online, but uh, how about how about sales of the videos? Where where can people get those? And uh, how can we how can we get uh, how can we get help get the uh, this information out? If you go to the website, thatgoodfilm.com, they'll explain to you how to get, you can get, you can order the video from there, that's the only place to get it, and it's all right there. All right. All I, I will put a link up to that. I'll put a permanent link up uh, to your site. In return, I'd like for you to be able to tell people about this show, maybe put a link to this show and, or, or something up on your site. And because if we don't start working together, we're all going to hang alone, you know, and, and uh, who knows, who knows, I mean, we, we, uh, we want to do this. We want to, we want to make every, I want to see every little town, every county independent, self-sufficient. And it's how all the history of the world has been until the Industrial Revolution. Everyone lived that way for thousands of years before the Industrial Revolution, bringing everybody to cities and totally destroying the whole natural order. It, 
Yeah, it brought it brought benefits, but it did it did destroy. And this might be the ideal time for restructuring our thinking since they've already packed up all the uh, factories and shipped them off to China or to uh, Taiwan or, or someplace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe this is the time. I, you know, now, uh, according to the modern counter, 2012 is supposed to be the end of the world. I think it might be the end of the world for the banksters, uh, for the control freaks out uh, there that, that uh, you know, and uh, man, this uh, this is the whole religiosity thing. I don't care whether you're Jewish. I don't care whether you're cock whether you're you're uh, Christian or, or or Muslim. Don't tell me how to live. I'll take. I get my information straight from God. That's what you got. You got your the way to grow, the way to produce this, right from God. God gave you the internet to tell people about it. So, I think you're doing absolutely the right thing. Yeah, and I, I just feel thankful for the opportunity. You know, I, I, I think the time is there. It's amazing how this film has spread all over the world, the millions who are watching it. And this came out 20 years ago, maybe some of the watch it, but today we're at a time where people are aware we're in trouble, our food's corrupted, we need to get back to the original and start growing healthy live food and maintain and experience the health we're supposed to have. So I think the world is ready to hear and ready to act because we are in need. Things are not good. They're not. And I've been reporting on this for years and telling people this is good much coming about. It's coming about now. And I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of talking about it. You know, I had a friend that said, he just quit. He just quit. And I said, how could you do that? You know, he goes, well, we tried to tell him before. We tried to tell him for 20 years. We tried to tell him what NAFTA was going to become. We tried to tell him what uh, FEMA was going to become. We tried to tell him what Homeland Security was. We tried to tell him about 9-11. They didn't want to listen in. So to hell with them, they're going to get the government they deserve. Now, how do you get out of that form of government? If you've got a communist government installed, if you've got a tyrannical government installed, I don't care whether you call it communism or fascism, it's somebody wanting to control you. It's somebody wanting to, well, we're going to put a meter on your well. What are you going to do? Who are you going to send out? You know, you're going to have to bring body bags, man. Nobody's coming to put no meter on my well. Nobody's going to come out here and tell a farmer how to... How, how to, what to grow on his farm. I mean, that to me, that's that's insanity. Uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, you're doing it. I mean, this is just the way I would feel if I had a farm. Here's how, here's, and I did have five acres out in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico. But how do you feel about that? Well, I feel, I feel terrible about it. And, and all I can do is just say, God, I mean, Psalm 91, I live under the shadow of the Almighty. His protection, his, his covering. And just look to him in faith, because as I watch what's happening in the world, I, and I focus on that, I become totally depressed and just, you know, wouldn't function. So I just have to focus on, you know, God, you're bigger than this, and I just trust that as long as I'm walking with you, I'll be under the shadow of the Almighty, and I'm good. You know, that's, that's my confidence. And it happens that way. It, uh, you know, I, I, I believe that is not, that's not religion. No, that's it's relationship. It's a relationship. It's a vital living relationship. Paul, I really applaud. Uh, tell me, uh, you've got a family? I, I raised seven children here. They're all adults now. And just to give you a testimony how powerful this works, none of them were immunized. We carry no health insurance. They're all totally well and healthy. And it's normal. This is how you're supposed to live. You know, my mother and grandmother were drug addicts. I thought it was normal to go to a doctor once, uh, once a week. They went there to get their prescriptions. They thought they were sick. They were convinced they were sick. They died that way. Oh. I've never gone to a doctor. You know, no, not willingly anyway. I've been carried there a few times. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're great as far as I'm concerned, you know, for, uh, if you need, uh, you get a broken bone, you got uh, an accident, you need a few stitches. But health-wise, they don't understand. They're, they're nothing but drug dealers, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe I'm being too hard on it, you know. I no, mean, no, you're correct. They're wonderful for diagnosis and, and wonderful for emergencies, but when it comes to health, and again, their education is so bizarre, they're not taught anything about nutrition. It's just, and again, it's totally set up. It's a business. American American medical is the largest industry in the world, and no one's getting well. 
do the math. This is not working. The, we, we know that THC, marijuana, cures cancer. It proved up in, up in, uh, in you know, I, we had a uh, guest that was in Canada and he was curing his neighbors of cancer. Uh, he's in exile in uh, Yugoslavia or someplace now. <laughs> they don't want you getting well. Cancer is an industry. The chemo is an industry. They're killing you. And, and the drug business, the drug business, they're giving you the drugs. You're, 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 you're buying drugs that are doing more harm to you than whatever you could have had. Yeah, this is what amazes me about the American public. If you read the if you read the package the package inserts, the side effects are way more severe and damaging than what you're trying to treat yourself for. This is brain dead, and people will take that stuff. I mean, what is up with this society? What happened to our brains? This has been done time and time again. The British Sassoon family made their fortune off of running opium to China. You know, the CIA has brought the cocaine into nice little protected Arkansas. It was protected by uh, Governor Bill Clinton up there in Arkansas. Now, and George Bush was in the CIA when they brought in Operation Watchtower and brought in all the cocaine from Panama. It's uh and and so so even the there's more people died from prescription drugs than from all the illegal drugs in the world. What a racket. You bring in illegal you make something illegal here like hemp and then you import it the triple, quadruple the price, import it, and arrest the people that you sell it to. What a racket! And we could, uh, you know, it's, if, if we just get back to being self-sufficient, it, it 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 really solves so many problems. You're being programmed to do that cocaine. You're being programmed to be sick. I mean, every other commercial on on the uh, Super Bowl was about for what? Drugs. Pharmaceuticals that are more that are, are that have more of a markup up to two hundred thousand percent markup on the ingredients yeah and they're toxic this is what i mean it's just so crazy how we live do you think that you're making a difference are you getting this kind of the, the kind of response do you think we have a shot you think we've got a chance to turn back well, around? I've been so encouraged. This, this, the, this film came out last, last um, end of August, and the director was trying to figure out how to advertise it. And it's been the website I popped in about a month or so ago has, has had over 5 million hits in over almost 200 countries. I get calls every single day from people all over the world. People go to that place almost every day. And so I'm, I'm really encouraged. I'm sensing that people are waking up, they're getting the idea, and they're realizing we have a problem and we want to correct it. And they're so thankful for the opportunity to see how to do it. And it's simple. And everyone who comes here, I just love the comments. They all, oh, and these little kids come up, and the parents says, they won't eat that. They keep going back, picking more of my vegetables because they taste good. And, it, and they know this is how we're supposed to live. This is good food. This is normal. You know, so I'm very encouraged. I, I, I'm seeing a tremendous openness where years ago people could have cared less. The people now are aware we're in trouble and we've got to make some changes. And I believe you have the answer. The self-sufficient family farm. We could do that. You know, the, this something's happened uh, for me here. Basically, I, I met somebody, one of my, one of my fans, or one of the people listening to me over uh, the internet, and um, we really got to like each other. We really got to like each other over, over the internet. It couldn't have happened ten years ago. Yeah. The right. internet with the, the, the with the Bible college with the schools with even the uh, I call it 21st century romance. You know, we did things differently, and we with this internet we can be 30 miles away from the nearest town and still communicate and still and still grow and still produce everywhere. 
everywhere. I mean, this could sweep the, the I think that this concept could sweep the country and um, hopefully we and ho hopefully the world. The world. Yeah, we're not talking about it's not isolation. It's, it's opening up basically all of the information to the world and so that the information benefits other people. This is the opportunity we've got with the internet. The, we, I mean, what, a thousand years ago you couldn't even read the Bible. They didn't want you to have that information. I uh, will tell you what it says. Yeah. So we really got an opportunity here with the internet and with the combined with the work that you've done. And that's what I, that's really the original way I envision Liberty Villages. Smaller houses, smaller cabins, all of the charm of the 19th century and all of the convenience of the 21st. With your, you know, I, 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 while I was talking with you, I had this vision. I, I talking about the settlers, you know, coming across the country, putting the silver in the water barrels to keep them healthy, getting out, and running that mule over the over the land and plowing it up. I had that vision, and. Uh, I really uh, appreciate the vision that you've given me because that was they weren't doing it right. They were doing it the way they thought it was supposed to be, the way they had been told to do it. They thought they, 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 we've just been this ritual, this dogma, and you have managed to break out of that and to be able to say, this is the way it's supposed to work. That's the way I read it. Yeah, you know what I love about what I'm sharing is, is that it, it cannot fail. This has been happening in nature for the last 6,000 years, recorded in human history, and it's going on continuously, and it can't fail. This is how it's always been done, and I love that. It's just, it's, those will call you back because it didn't work, because it can't fail. It totally works. Paul, the website is backtoedenfilm.com. That's it. And that's up on my website. This show will be up on the website inside of an hour or so. And uh, freeamerican.com, folks. Check it out. Get the links. Go see this film. And if you've got land, we have. A, I do have a site called libertyvillages.org. It's about to be updated. Seriously updated. And. It's going to be basically a connection point. If you've got land that you want to develop the way that Paul recommends, if you want a, if you've got an area beside a, a secondary highway, and you'd like to have a business there, you can contact us. If you're looking for a place to work, a place to live that is living at this type of lifestyle that is interested in being productive and I don't care whether you're a mechanic, whether you're an engineer, whether you're a writer or, or, or what you are, if you can do something productive and, and contribute to a community or a business, however you want to view it, then you contact us. You put in an application and we'll put you together with the people that got the land to see if you fit. I mean, I don't want to live around everybody. I don't, I don't want to live in a city. And I want to be able to choose the people that I work with and live with. We're, so we're not talking about communes. We're not talking about, you know, cults. Nothing like that. I believe where you have accomplished what you've accomplished by being an individual. Paul Gashi, BackToEdenFilm.com. Thank you for being on my show. You're so welcome. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Bless you. Bye. Call recording has been completed.